the bish even admits in this conversation around um, transgender rules in sport at the community level, he's like, oh, I didn't really pay too much attention to this before I became the sports minister. You, you misspeak here a little bit. I didn't really pay too much attention to this until Winston Peters, lunatic supporters that got him back into government, forced you to you know, talk about the winky police uh, and also people wanting to play softball in the weekends at their local town. Um, but let's have a look. It's only a two-minute clip. This is from this morning's breakfast talking about um, the, the the rules that they're going to bring in. They haven't actually said what they are, but, but whatever. It seems to be talking about looking after all of our money, every single dollar. This seems to be an incredible waste of resource when it comes to political time, what they're doing. But let's have a look. And Chris, you've asked Sport New Zealand to have a look at uh, the guideline principles for the inclusion of transgender people in community and sport. Why? What's wrong with it? My view was that uh, the guidelines are good as far as they go, that they talk a lot about diversity, equity and inclusion. That's really important. But they should also... Bishop hasn't heard the... Uh, he hasn't got the memo that if you sit on the right, you're not supposed to be supportive of diversity and inclusion. Oh, that's, DEI. that's it. At you know, least he DEI said is, equity. Yeah, but DEI is Correct. bad. DEI is, is bad, equity? Bishop. He hasn't got it. As they go, that they talk a lot about diversity, equity and inclusion. That's really important. But they should also talk about uh, fairness and safety. Uh, and I heard quite a lot of community feedback over the last six months or so that I've been looking at this issue quite closely, that the guidelines need to reflect uh, what competitive sport is all about, even at a community level, which is fairness yeah, and yeah. safety as well. But it also says there's a whole section in here on wellbeing and safety. So... Uh, I'm, I'm not really sure what you want reviewed. But also, can I just ask, that this was part of National's Coalition yep. um, agreement with New Zealand First. Would you have pursued it otherwise? Uh, well, it's, to be honest, it's not an issue that I thought deeply about until I came into the sport and recreation portfolio. It is a part of our coalition agreement with New Zealand First, obviously. Uh, but I think this is the right thing to do. It's just about rebalancing the principles a bit. It's not about. Getting... I mean, he's a consummate politician, but I think no one's told him you can't say this is a load of shit, but it's important to do in the same sentence. You can't mm. say those two things back to back. It, then people kind of tilt their head. Like my dog, when I tell him we're, go, we're going, oh, I can't say the word because she's down there now. When we go into the, the big square bit of grass where the, the mm. circular thing gets thrown on, she does that. She goes like, that's mm. just the head tilt. It's like when you say yeah, that okay. this is a load of shit, but it's really important, we all tilt our heads, bitch, and go, what? hang on, what? What? You, what are you talking about? We'll just get to the end of this because Ginny wraps it up pretty well getting rid of them and by the way they're not mandatory they're just guidelines no, they're, they're just right. they're just yeah. there to try and help sport because sports are grappling with this very tricky issue about how you uh, make sure that uh, community sport is as welcoming to transgender people as possible but also realize that uh, the participation of transgender people in community sport does present tricky issues for sport does it really though because I don't hear too many things about the local, you know, the local village cricket team having too many. I don't see headlines. Is it really that tricky? I mean, we don't get too many news bulletins talking about, you know, local rural soccer team now under threat because someone who's transgender wants to play. Is it really, do we really need to be doing this? And I guess that's pretty much what Jenny says in about 10 words or less. And it's just about how we navigate that and grapple with it. And we're, um, we're I've asked really, them to update the guidelines, and I'm sure they will. Really sorry, I, I do have to go. Jenny, I'll just give you the last uh, say on that. Uh, well, it, the truth is it's a coalition agreement because Winston Peters uh, from New Zealand First uh, wanted to exclude trans transgender people from uh, community-level sport, and that is unfair. Uh, those guidelines were put in place to provide a framework for everybody to participate in uh, local sport, and this is simply a coalition promise to tick the box for Winston Peters, and sadly I don't even think it's going to satisfy him. Jenny Anderson, Chris Bishop, as uh, always. I, really I think my favourite thing is it. watching... Bishop just trying not to nod when he agrees with what she's saying. I He's know. like, this is something that, that uh, Winston Peters want. And you can just see him going. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I have to sit here and take this freaking unfriendly fire. Thanks. I think he's Winston. given us a little nod to say, yeah, this is bullshit. This is bullshit. And look, there's a conversation to be had at certain levels. And, you know, for real. I mean, there is a conversation to be had. But community sport, like, it's, I always think about it like this, Emily. Like my one of my girls didn't do this, but my middle girl, um, she wanted when we before we left Auckland, she wanted to play rugby. She never ended up doing. I'm not sure why, but there wasn't a girls' team, like in the in the thing. So she was going to play with the boys, and of course, we're sweet as cool as with that. What what's the difference at a yeah. community level? 
what they're basically saying is you wouldn't be allowed to do that because mm. girls and boys, boys and girls, transgender uh, women and, and women, you know, it's just, it's just, it seems like something, it's a solution to no problem anywhere, yeah. you know, and it's just, it is 100%. You know, Winston went down that line of, you know, bathrooms and gender and mm. that because he wanted to get, he doesn't, listen, I used to live in Tauranga. I used to see Winston with his cigars and his whiskey. Down. He doesn't believe in any of this bullshit. Trust me. He doesn't believe in any of it. He used people to get elected and now they're calling in the favor. And that's all it is. Yeah. Any ideas? Any thoughts? Uh, yeah, it's a difficult topic at the at the top in the competitive space. I think my partner and I have many many discussions about how yeah. you navigate it because I yeah. think we're in the same spot of like it needs to be fair and all this sort of stuff. But I think one of the I'm not sure if it was you that said it or someone else who said it, but at the community level, it doesn't matter. And actually, you you benefit them more with the the well being, getting out their team stuff. Um, the kids, it's great. Who cares? You like you're pretty equal when you're a child. So what does it matter? Yeah. Um, it really only matters when you start getting into competitive spaces and um, I guess what, meddling and uh, what would you call it? Um, pro, I guess, would be the way yeah. to go. That's when it probably starts to matter and it's a conversation, but I think most people very, very infrequently get, actually get to that point in their career with sport. I mean, it also, it also kind of goes, what it says is people at their nature are, are just fucking assholes that want to just harm everybody and you know <laughs> like do you know like if there was a, a transgender woman whose whose um stature was bigger than the average woman um it's also implying that that transgender woman is a danger to them like i i played cricket club cricket after school for three or four years um for green lane in auckland and it was somewhere between representative and social it was sort of to a grade you know there was competitions but we had fun and a guy came out batting once with one arm and you know what I did? I didn't bowl as fast. You know, it's like, mm. I, I st we still played, it was still competitive, but I just took into account the situation in front of me. So it's like, I just, what this kind of fear is, is basically saying, oh, Pat's gonna bounce that guy as fast as he can bowl. It's like actually we're human beings and if we have a, a potential disproportionate advantage anywhere, we're also just playing community sport. It's social mm. sport. And you know, if you're if, if, if you were a, a guy playing rugby and, and you were like me, six foot four and 140 kilos, and you were marking someone who was five foot four and 60 kilos, I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna smash you. You know, we're gonna play and I'm gonna grapple and I just I just hate what it what it implies is that everybody yeah. is only about uh the worst case scenario of what that person can be. I just think it's ugly. It's an ugly mm. way to think. It's horrible. Yeah. And of yeah. course just Bish said DEI, so he's gone woke. So he's gonna be better, you know. <laughs>